Hey there, in this tutorial we are going to take a look at how time and calendar class works. As you can see, I have imported time class and then used time function or method and storing the value in temp time variable and then printing temp time variable. Now what will happen is it will show a raw result when we print this. So in order to print readable time we have to import str f time or string format time from time class. This function basically lets us format time and date. As you can see how minutes and second, also year, month and day. You can change this as per your locale. Then we are going to take a look at calendar plot. We are importing this calendar class and then accessing month. It takes two parameters, year and month. So we are going to print July 2003 calendar in terminal. So it will print current month and calendar. So let's print this and see what the output is. temp underscore time variable is printing a raw value time printing the seconds as per the system blocks how and second also let's take a look at string format time functions output here what we have is current month July 2003 and then calendar output you can tr try this on one CDM methods time dot time function or method and then access this value with the help of temporary variable. Also you can import string format time strf time function from time class and then variable t1 is going to output year, month and date along with hours, minutes, seconds and the rest of the content is shown as expected for current month and 
calendar that's it i hope you enjoyed this tutorial